Hey, man, I feel like winning something. You got any races? Alpha males, baby! It's a race around North Alderney. Take them down. must have gone invisible. Sorry, friend, but I need the bike. I Holy shit! To be ah! Oh my God! No way! You're a joke! Whoa! Holy shit! You are really annoying me now! Don't try to be a tough guy! Fuck it, just take it! Thank you. 
got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Well, remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. If you want to pass something up to me, pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but uh, hey, at least it's tax-free.
Hey, man, I feel like winning something. You got any races? All eyes are on us, Nikki. All eyes, baby. They're going through alternate, Nikki. Be the best.
Brucey, are there any races going on at the moment? You are number one, man. The greatest of all time. There's another one for you, bro. The race is through South Alderney. Yeah! Push it to the limit and take it to the top!
Who are you waving at? Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to slay him. <laughs> Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Oh, uh, uh, sure, I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry, I I'm s Nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that at your meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them, just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. I think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet.
I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Teach him that all that is Pecorino turf. Was there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste then. Hand something up the ladder. That's how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Great, thanks. Okay. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, show Phil. show. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy. Give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. <laughs> no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's the slime ball. But, uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. Davis. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit, it's three days early. Man on the meal, what am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're rat, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you're expecting to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product you off of some me. Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Enceladis have a falling gout. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an acting class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. All right, this is the truck. That's gonna make it easier for the feds to tail us. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. 
But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the sea. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something can make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. Now we're sure to have the feds on us. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Get a great lawyer. I walk. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies! Fucked with me! 
You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later.
I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. Gregorino, they're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a new tool friend. He's expected. Watch where you're going! Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Vulcan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quiet. Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me? So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, God complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flat lines from here in, it's so... Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. You can look, but you can't touch. Do I know you? I've seen so many green doctors, patients, and cadavers. I don't recognize anyone anymore. Cops act all nice when they get shot, but it's Mr. Tough Guy now that they're down the hall with a witness.
He's not looking too good, Doc. Can I have some time alone with my patient? I wanted to stretch my legs anyway. Mind how you go there. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, ah, shit, Nico. You here to see the boss? Yeah, he's just this way. Oh, wait, isn't the boss in jail? Ah, what are you here for? Ah, shit. I didn't have a choice. They were gonna put me away for some hard time. I never thought it'd be me that turned rat. Go to sleep, Anthony. You look tired. Tell Peg. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. Stay around, Nico. Buddy! Come on, quick. Get out of there. Okay, okay. Slow down. Where to? I want to go to... Here we are. Great, thanks. Come on! Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. Factory off of Argus Street. Patrick McCreary, I probably don't remember giving you my... What's up, Pecky? You want to go bowling? Jesus, Nico! I thought you were in the pen I hadn't heard from you in so long. Okay, bowling with a psycho Balkan sounds like fun. Come get me in the next hour. All right, we're on, Pecky. Roman, it's Nico. I need the cab. You need walk no longer. 
There's a cab coming to you. Hey, Craphead, get in the car, my friend. So, we need to go to Denver Exeter Avenue. I thought you would say you want to go to a brothel full of men. Roman is real lucky to have you working for him. Your customer service is impeccable. You want to know about my customer service? You ask one of my female passengers. They'll tell you I service them good. Great. I'm sure that must be good for you. It is good for me. Real good. I love that shit almost as much as the bitches do. And I tell you something, the women are actually paying for their rides, not freeloading like a certain ugly Eastern European immigrant scumbag I know. If you didn't have your cousin, you wouldn't have anything. How come you too lazy to start a business like Roman did? I might not work either if I was getting all the money and free rides I wanted from my cousin. I look after Roman. I help him out. Sure you do. You help him get into trouble. I know your type, homeboy. Don't think I'm not streetwise, Holmes, because I seen shit you couldn't imagine. For real, my friend. For real. Okay, then. For real. Good riddance, dog lover. Thank you. We need some vehicular transport. Be more careful. Hey, man, you read my blog? You all right, Nico boy? Sure, how you doing? As long as I don't think about things, fantastic. Sometimes I think that is true for all of us. Sure, I reckon it is. Maybe that's why the world is divided into the drunk and the miserable. Maybe. Although my dad was both drunk and miserable. Right fucking idiot. I'm sorry about that. He messed the whole fucking family up, I reckon. I used to think I loved him, then I realized I hated him. Drunken bastard, fuck him. Has he been dead long? Yes, but not long enough. I wish he'd been drowned at birth, got rid of the lot of us. You're not very cheerful today. No. I'm sorry. Happy thoughts, puppies, and little girls smiling, and clowns, and all that shit. Let's go bowling, Nico! Damn this thing. Sorry. You want to bowl? Choose a lane! Watch this! Hmm, okay, not bad. Not a strike, but it'll do. Cool, man, cool. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty good at bowling. Gotta be pleased with that. I like that. I am good, yes. I'm on my way.
happen. a bit to do. Another turn. You got fucking lucky, Nico. Sorry. Shit, I hate bowling. Take me back to the house. to go to Savannah Avenue. You got it! Jesus, these fucking roads! Hurry this shit up! of the line. That was a good crack, man. Catch you around. To Algonquin. Thing. We'll be there in no time. Thanks. You want to stop, man? Hey, where are you going? Go Got it. Thank you very much. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port The old factory off of Arthur Street. The fucking Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how to fuck me? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the enchilada's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it.
All right. Now, the way I sees it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. Fuck you, Yeah! 
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Jacob, I need to get a hold of a weapon. Can you help me? Meet me at Judah. Mr. The man. It all day, my brother. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay. It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... 
I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy if the feds show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. There you are. Frankie, you been keeping your eyes open out here? You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The fence have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! The fucking cops! Have some of that! I thought Phil was just paranoid. Give me a break, man. I got a lot on my mind, you know? I didn't have much time to scope this out. My ma's kinda sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These feds are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You wanna see a picture? I don't wanna see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. We can't let those feds run the boss off the road. Get them! Oh, God! We're gonna lose the boss!
damn police! Screw you, scumbags! They're all over the force, Nico! Don't lose the force, man! I got no idea where we're heading. Eat this, pigs! from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon shit! Can you get these cops off of us? Police! Damn! This is a wild ride! I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one! You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma. Don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a skin to the hip for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys. Shit. I'm sorry.
fucking cops! Insured. Don't try anything you might regret. Holy shit! I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> You mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. <laughs> 
He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. So, uh, knows this city better than me. Oh, thank you. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. I'm going to bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Mr. Jefferson, let's get out of here! was a joke? You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. You are quite the popular man, Mr. Jefferson. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. 
They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Valley. I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. You did good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians. Try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals? They want it so bad. You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Gravelli? See you later.